Good afternoon, everybody. Dr. John Asplund here in what would have been the old GABC wing. It will be part of the 1012 academic wing. Um, what you're standing in used to be part of the auto shop and now is uh, really going to be the classroom. And you can see down the way, it's just more classrooms and there's going to be noise going on behind because folks are working back there. Um, I'm here at the, at the north end of the building. I'm standing here today. I got another special guest who's Mr. Jason Spring, who is our head of uh, maintenance and custodial work here at the, at the district, uh, operations chair here. So uh, he's going to give you a little message in a minute, but I'm going to start uh, by talking about uh, the fact that the register mail has been covering it and we have a, uh, a page on our, on our webpage that, that does tell you how many exclusions we have. And that number is going up. And it's been going up a lot because we have a lot of situations going on out in the community still. Um, I've been saying this every week now for a while and sounding like a broken record. Um, but if we don't do the things we need to do out in the community, we are going to be having to tighten up more measures and do more things that are, that are less fun for kids and, and, and less uh, of an advantage academically for kids. So we want to make sure we can stay in school. All right, Our goal is to stay in school, but we continue to have problems because uh, we're having a lot of folks walking into the building. If your kid's sick, keep them home because what's happening is we're having kids that are coming in uh, from other places or they've been contact traced from something that's going on out in the community. And then all of a sudden we have a bunch of kids that are going to have to be sent home because they were in the proximity of somebody who caught something else. So, so that's really become a problem. So we really need to have that stop. Um, also, we're, we're working on more guidance for what we're supposed to do in terms of if you go traveling, if you are in large groups, uh, we're, we're working with the Knox County Health Department to try to get more clear guidance. And hopefully, if everything goes well, by the end of the day today, we'll be sending something out. that will be revised guidance that hopefully will take us through the end of the year. Because I believe by last count, I think we have 34 days of school left. So it's not a lot. So we just really need to do what we need to do to stay in school. We only have a very, very short window left, seven weeks. Uh, and then the school year will be done before we move on to summer school. Um, you know, so we just need to hold on and make sure you're doing what you need to do. If your child is sick, keep them home, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Spring, who's gonna give you a little message about what's going on here at school. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks for this opportunity, Dr. Asplund. Jason Spring, Director of Operations here, and I just wanna give a huge shout out to my custodial and maintenance staff on the work that they've done this year to, to keep your kids uh, safe and healthy. You know, our, our custodial staff has had to go through training and, and using lots of different things to, you know, keep these classrooms and these spaces clean for kids. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank them personally for the excellent job that they've done. And, you know, I'm a Galesburg guy and here we're standing in what used to be the, you know, the old auto shop. And it's so neat to see these, the, the, the changes that are going on in our district and can't wait until this gets wrapped up to be able to share that with you. And like Dr. Asplund said, let's all do our part so that we can keep kids in school for the next six weeks and then you know summer school and things like that but i just want to tip my hat to the custodial maintenance group for the great job that they've done this year thanks and back to dr Asper. all right thanks jason you bet. so today is april 9th all right so we are well into the fourth term um you know our last day of school with students is right now may 27th and and that's coming right around the corner and then graduation will be that following weekend um, you know, really things are really rounding into shape the building's rounding into shape now, our teachers have done a fantastic job of working with your kids. The parents have done a fantastic job of working with the kids. Um, and, and we're really excited about what the future holds. Um, and so, you know, very soon as we continue with what you're seeing here and as the, as the building progresses, we're going to be able to show off a lot more of the building. And, and hopefully then sometime this summer, we can also have open houses at the other buildings as well because those buildings are absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we're moving into a new era here in District 205 and we're really excited about it. Um, and so I'll end this for today because this has gotten a little bit longer than I even wanted. Uh, but, you know, signing off for today, it's April 9th, Dr. John Asplund.